So I am very happy to see here so many people today at this event. Uh, so if you came, you know already what this, this is about. Um, this is uh, the, the first meeting uh, of hopefully a series of meetings in which we would like to discuss uh, structural challenges faced by the academic system. And this first meeting is going to be about the uh, scientific publishing and the strive for open accessibility. So um, now I'm going to uh, leave the stage to the uh, Dean of the Department of Physics, who will say a few introductory words. And then we will start with some short talks, uh, which are supposed to be just introductory talks. So I would like to ask all of you to keep just short uh, understanding questions for this part of short talks and to keep the, longest, the longer questions for the, the panel discussion part. And so now I leave the stage to... Thank you. Thank you, Julia. <clears throat> I'd like the opportunity to, um, to take the opportunity to welcome you here at this important event. And um, rethinking academia was in, uh, is, a, is it maybe very important because we see already that for a while things are changing and they are not changing to the better, I would say. So uh, I learned from the schedule that Professor Focher will shed some light on the history of the publishing system, but I brought two of my favorite papers with me uh, to share it with you. One from 1786 in Transactions of the American Philosophical Society. And you can see how at that time the uh, publishing system worked. Basically, it was just a letter. So the letter was about an optical problem proposed by Mr. Hopkinson and solved by Mr. Rittenhouse. And it starts with, I take the liberty of requesting your attention to the following problem in, opt in optics. It is, I believe, entirely new, and the solution will afford amusement to you and instruction to me. Then there is the answer by Mr. Rittenhouse. Dear sir, the experiment you mention with a silk handkerchief and the distant flame of a lamp is much more curious than one would at first imagine. Finally, he finishes his letter by pursuing these experiments. It is probable that new and interesting discoveries may be made respecting the properties of this wonderful substance, light which animates all nature in the eyes of man, and perhaps, above all things, disposes him to acknowledge the Creator's bounty. But want of leisure obliges me to quit the subject for the present. I am, dear sir, your affectionate friend and very humble servant, David Rittenhouse. So you can see that at that time, this was quite different, the publishing system. Uh, the second example I like is, um, uh, about Einstein versus physical review. This maybe is known. Uh, Einstein uh, wrote several papers when he arrived in, uh, in the US, and uh, he was not used to the US publishing system, and submitted one paper about gravitational waves. And uh, after receiving a negative critique from the journal, physical review, um, he didn't submit any further work to this. So what did he say when uh, they told him that maybe there were some mistakes in his paper? Uh, Einstein wrote back to the editor in 1936, so this is 150 years after this first paper. I, Dear sir, we, Mr. Rosen and I, had sent you our manuscript for publication and had not authorized you to show it to specialists before it is printed. I see no reason to address the, in any case, erroneous comments of your anonymous expert. On the basis of this incident, I prefer to publish the paper elsewhere. Respectfully, Einstein. So, what was the outcome of this? Uh, basically, the German system at that time worked, and this is citing quote, uh, quotation, better a wrong paper than no paper at all. The American already, they were used to the review system. 
And uh, finally, what did this mean for the physical review? For physical review, this meant that he would never, the editor would never again receive a submission from his most distinguished contributor. So I wish you a successful symposium and fruitful panel discussions and looking forward for the future of our publishing system. <laughs>